for the third part on this session on the Kinamo report, I want to take our report we have built, uh, beefed up in the second session, and add some chart states. I want to add three charts in a row. I we'll say, okay, first of all, interest at uh, opportunities per sale stage. Then I, in a count, then I want to see uh, the value to that. And then I want to see what is the count per account executive. So a couple of charts I draw out of this. In order to do that, I want to edit the report. And to get the count and opportunities, we go to list fields and then we take our opportunities and we add a field which we just basically say the function we want to do in that is we want to count, but we don't want to display it, so this is just the opportunity ID, we need that. And the other thing, we want to build the sum on the total amount. So we add the function of sum, which we will use for the reports. The next thing is charts. So we go to the chart tab and select the layout. So we want to add one by three. So one row, three charts. Chart one, we want to do a, uh, let's do a nice fancy donut chart. Where we say count opportunity by stage. This is going to be uh, the title for the chart. The dimension we want to add is the stage. And the data we want to add is the ID. So we could have named this count ID. And then a couple of things we want to do. So we want to show the values. Yes, we don't want to show percentages. We want to show names. So well, this looks nice. And that's about it. We want to add a second chart where we basically add, let's do a bar chart. 2D will be fine, which we say total by stage. So the image we want to take again is the stage. The data we want to take is now the total. We want to show empty values. Basically what that means is even since like sales stages and enomes we have drop down values, uh, even if we have no opportunity, we still want to show this in this chart. We want to display the values, yes, and we also want to display the names and then a little bit on this plot fill ratio is just how this chart looks like. So you can play with that around. It's a percentage value between zero and 100. So zero is it fades, 100 it, it's uh, just filled. Good. And the third one we want to take is uh, we do a basic pie chart. We say, okay, um, total by AE, so by the account executive, the dimension we're going to set is the account executive. The data we want to draw from is the total. And then we want to have again display the values. We want to display the names of the account executives. Yes. And that should do. So let's just save the report and see what we produced for there. So we basically see that the charts are filled <coughs> as expected. We see a donut. We have the various cell stage and we have the names. We have the count next to it. We have the total by cell stage, which basically says from prospecting to closed one lost, where we see the various stages and the amounts, and then total by AE. So we see again admin has some things, and then of course you can do the funny things with these charts, like you can rotate them or you can just slice them, a couple of things. The other fun thing we can do now, um, if we want to export that, of course, we can also export including charts. So you see now, it's not only a PDF, but it's also a PDF with chart option. What the system does, capture the charts. So since that gets processed on the front end, we're capturing them. One at a time, and then produce a nice and good looking PDF out of that. Uh, takes a while. And you can see that basically the charts are there as well, so PDF looks at least nicer and fancy one. The other thing you can do now, again with that of course, still filter. So if we say we draw that down and say I want to look at it by individual, 
So of course this nothing is said that all equals to zero, but if we say I want to have basically on my user, whoops, there we go, chart gets updated, that is of course now meaningless, but for example, if we, let's shift that and go to the admin, so dynamically updates it, admin looks better, and of course if I for example change that and say is one off, and then pick two that I'm not that fancy and say okay these two so you see charts get dynamically updated and the other thing you see with the uh, value of also show empty values now requalification needs analysis there's nothing in so the system shows you that for empty and again if I go back and just say okay it's not empty system updates and brings me my report also from the chart perspective as I was looking at it. Good, so much for the nice charts. The other thing now I can do fairly easily if I have that, I can also use this chart um, on my home screen. So in order to do that, I basically go to my home screen and I say add a sugar dashlet I want to add a Kinamu chart. There it is. I love that thing. Uh, it comes up configurable. Uh, I should see my opportunity report, the one we created. That's what I want to have. You can set the height. Well, we just want to save it. And then once we reload, of course, uh, one by three might take a little bit up of room. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah. So you get the concept. You can play around with that. Of course, maybe we should change that a little bit so that it looks nicer. You basically get your chart directly on your home screen.